Bring on the Bollywood is uh, one of those Shakespearean romantic comedies where anything that can go wrong in our protagonist's life does go wrong. Dr. Katrina Pavar has been living in the UK for 14 years. She moved here when she was 18 years old to study, to be a doctor, and she stayed. Now she's on her way home to her younger brother's wedding. A boy who is 12 years younger than her and 12 years luckier because she's still single. Bring on the Bollywood is essentially about a dysfunctional family where you've got a mother who is meddling and she meddles because she wants her daughter married. Everywhere she turns, they tell her, Lalita ji, your daughter, you've married so many people but your daughter's still single. You must be saving someone special for her. Whereas the dad, on the other hand, he's a lot more freer and happier and happy-go-lucky guy. And in come in two complete outsiders who are thrown into this model uh, and they have their own issues. So it all comes down to this finale where secrets come out and true, true identities are revealed. Um, it's got a bit of a two gentlemen of Verona, uh, but the overall structure of it is also comes from She Stoops to Conquer. All set into this magical, colourful world of Bollywood, which just adds to that beautiful humour and um, the, adds to the romance that this production will have. My love affair with Bollywood actually began really funnily. Um, my mum's water broke at the cinema. This was in Kenya, outdoor cinema, and there I'm about to be born. Later that night, when I am born, they name me after the uh, lead actor in the film. Uh, and that's how my affair with Bollywood really began. My mum certainly fueled it because she loved her Indian cinema. And every night she'd watch at least one movie. And I think so from the, the minute I was born, there hasn't been a day when I haven't actually watched it a Bollywood film. Normally I love to take things in the past and make something, you know, Bollywood but historical. This is the first time we've actually spent a lot of a lot of energy going out to speak to young people and finding out their love affairs with Bollywood. What is it about Bollywood that keeps them connected to a, a Indian culture? Um, and those stories have literally influenced this production. So I would say this is probably the first contemporary Bollywood musical that speaks of today. Everyone else fades away when we come face to face. People want to hang with me, spend a little time with me. I can be your fantasy.